What is up YouTube, Luca here with another PvP build with my second stamina build for the Ascendant Tide. I'm on my stamina Dragon Knight with a classic Relic Fen, one slime core, one killed and advanced in your Kida setup. But back bar, again the mild super perfect greatsword, it's too strong guys, stampede in combination with Mercer's Charge. And Calf did in total, I think, almost 20k single target damage. And it can deal AoE damage too. Stampede is an AoE. Mercer's Charge will also get implied by multiple targets. And Calf is an AoE too. So even for AoE fights, better than a Black Ghost Prism or even the Inferno Milestone stuff. Alternative instead of Reliquin, you could use Basis. Yes, Basis on a stamina char. Because I use Molten Whip as spammable. But there are two other options here. Uh, Rapid Strikes are also nice. This one. With the Maelstrom Daggers on the front button. Or the Stone Giant, the Stones. This one is spammable, is fine too. But I prefer a non-cast or non chant ability with Molten Whip easy going, similar to Magicka DK. Trades full divines, one light and uh, six medium armor for max stamina glyphs of course. Advanced Yokida for weapon damage but thirsty. Two daggers, one charged and one sharp. We need sharp, otherwise we'll not reach the 18.2k penetration cap. And we need charged here for the passive combustion, which gives us a ton of uh, magicka back, which is necessary with Molten Whip as spammable. And back by infused with the Berserker Glyph. Alternative setups instead of Yukida, you could use still Kinoas. Like I said before, the Milestone Daggers on the front bar. With two pieces Zokwin, 5 Sacred Raid. Then a Reliquin on the body, still. But instead of one slime core, we could use Kianus monster set. Two light armor pieces. Here we go. And still killed. So we just would swap Advancing Yukida for the Monster Daggers, for two pieces Zogwin, and for two monster set pieces Kiana. And then use Rapid Strikes as spammable instead of Molten Whip. It also works, it had similar results, but like I said before, I don't like those channeled abilities, especially in dynamic boss fights. Skills wise, a lot have changed, since all our skills are scaling with the highest offensive stat, in this case on the Stamina Dragon Knight weapon damage. That's why I used Engulfing Flames. It did slightly more damage and empowers all of our flame and damage abilities too. Venomous Claw, still better than Burning Embers. Molten Whip is spammable. Daddy Cloak. Flames of Oblivion. And Dawn Waker just slotted for the extra weapon damage. Thanks to the Fighter Skip Passive Slayer. Backbar Stampede with Calf. I did use Calf only. Let me check. Where's the combat matrix? Only 7 times, but did in total. Let me check, Calf 4.3k plus 900, so over 5k single target damage, and it's near E. For just 7 times that I've used it, so super powerful use Calf, guys. Really under underestimated since they nerfed the damage, the duration we just get in increased each stack, so 30 seconds duration with three stacks, super powerful. For shorter fights, probably not worth it. For example, at Sunspire, if you have those small uh, flight phases, then you should probably swap car for something else, like a scalar room, for example, or caltrops. Also worth it. Then barb trap for minor four still. Degeneration which gives Major Brutality and Saucy both damage buffs and Camouflage Hunter for Major Savagery, so I have Major Savagery back bar 
and front bar. And we have major brutality, thanks to the generation, which means we can use the heroism potions. This one with magicka stamina and minor heroism, which increases our sustain and damage, thanks to battle roar. The decay passive, which gives the resources back if we use our ultimate. And then our offensive ultimate, of course, Stamped of Might, still super powerful, probably one of the strongest ultimates in this game. Ray Stark Elf, what else? Best in slot, followed by Khajiit, Mondos the Thief Mondos, and Buffroot the Candy Justice Coins, since we have a lot of magic abilities and Molten Whip as spammable. We need the extra Magicka region, otherwise it will be not possible to sustain it. And with max stamina, we also empower our stamina abilities. 64 points in stamina, potions like I said before, the heroism potions. If you don't have enough money, just use the normal brutality potions. CPs, blue ones, deadly aim, master at arms, tarmoturge and backstabber. As Khajiit you can destart backstabber. For something else, like Warful Strikes, this one, or Biting Aura, this one. If you can't flank the enemy, just use Fighting Finesse instead. Red CPs, Rejuvenation, Fortified, Bondless Vitality, and Celerity. Rotation wise, nothing special, it's a classic dot with spam rotation, so keep up every dot. If one expires, reapply it again. And use Molten Whip. As spammable in between. By the way, I place those crates on the sides because of Stampede. We can outmove the clunky animation if we press forward, so W. I just toggle it out to walk, so I don't have to press W all the time. But don't worry, you don't really need it. I just did it for slightly more damage, probably not even 1k more. There are two small tips on a DK which are useful. Before the boss fight even starts, make sure to use Flames of Oblivion three times in a row to empower Molten Whip and to gain Seething Fury for extra spell damage. The other important point is about the ultimate center of might. Try to make sure you have all of your dots up before you use even the banner to empower all of your dots. Now we'll leave you with the pass. If you have questions, type them down below. Thanks for watching guys. See ya. Thank you.